Hi guys, from here on the farm in Thailand with Toon and Lee. Uh, apologies if the video is a little bit shaky. Uh, I'm recording it on my phone. There's a good reason. I can't use my um, video camera. Uh, I've been severely injured. Um, it's my own fault. I think I've jinxed us. Only a couple of weeks ago I did a video saying uh, the seven things that scare me the most living here on the farm. Since then... Uh, I've been stung on the same legs uh, four times by scorpions. Uh, the guys yesterday that were working doing the culvert project uh, were almost bitten by uh, a fair-sized centipede. Um, Toon, of course, is very ill. We're still waiting. We've still got another few days before she gets her test results back. And if you cast your minds back, most of you remember, I also did uh, a recent video on a passion for pasture where I do a lot of strimming, clearing some of the, uh, the the thickly grassed areas and open them up for the for the goat herd to go in. Uh, and it was during uh, that activity, underneath my safety glasses, um, I think I was struck by I don't know a bit of dirt or or grass. It, it just flew straight under my glasses and and uh, caught my eye. I didn't think anything got caught in there. I still don't don't think, but uh, I think it scratched my eyeball. Uh, and over the course of a week or so, I have left it a little bit too late, yes. Um, it's got worse and worse. Um, at 2.30 yesterday morning, uh, to, I woke, well, I didn't mean to wake Toon up, but I'd, I'd got up to take a, an antihistamine. I couldn't think of anything else to take uh, and a painkiller. And uh, I said I'd like to go to the doctor in the morning. And uh, basically I, c I can hardly see out my eye. So yesterday anyway, Toon took me to um, a local well-respected doctor at her own clinic. Uh, she's ex-military, retired doctor. And uh, she had a good look in there. She couldn't see anything. She gave me a, a, a shot to fight an infection and some painkillers, fantastic. I don't know what day of the week it is almost. They, uh, I'm buzzing on them. Um, and it uh, gave me a shot and the, the medicine is for two, two and a half days. She said, if there's no improvement then, in all likelihood, um, it's something a bit more serious and something's stuck in there and you're gonna have to go to hospital. I've also got quite a big lump coming up um, in my jaw. Hopefully uh, that's caused by the infection and that'll clear up. If the infection goes and the lump's still there, she said that's something more serious and again, go back to hospital. So, um, I don't know whether we'll call it a gore fest video, guys. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you. So anyone screamish might want to look away. So you can, you can see, I, I can't, this is all just like a, a blurred image to me. Uh, so I've been trying to keep my eyes closed. Um, you might think, well, I'll just put a bandage over one eye. Well, you, you never do that. You're supposed to put them over both eyes. If you have, if you do first aid, guys, anyone has an eye injury and you say done a eye irrigation and eye eye wash and you you bandage up the eyes, you bandage up both because when your good eye looks around, you, your bad eye is trying to mirror that. So it's only for the video I'm doing this. Um. So it's just brought it home, really. I mean, I'm I'm just laying on bed. Toon's doing 12-hour days now, taking care of the goats, which is, of course, what I was doing before. Um, she's not firing on all cylinders. Uh, she's also got to cut the grass for them as well. And uh, I'm just basically looking after me doing the meals and stuff. Yeah, we've got two guys here on site, but they're racing against time doing the culvert as... Um, each day they're working, also the, the water's rising in the lake, which is fantastic. Um, but they're, they're racing against, not the sands of time, probably the uh, racing against the tide, so to speak. Um, so they can't really take a break from that until that's done. So they're, uh, they're doing sort of like three courses a day, reinforced block work now. They've done the reinforced concrete. I had intended to record all that as, uh, as the project goes on. So at the moment we've only done part one with Macro Man. Um, 
but I'd like to have done about another three or four videos. They're doing a great job. But hey ho, we can't do that. Um, otherwise, we would get them to to uh, pick up the baton on all the jobs that need need doing, just the general day to day stuff where where Toon and I were doing those. We have had a sit down talk with them um, a, a few days ago before my eye turned into something. Well, basically, it looked like I think it looked like a cross between who's that dark fella? He's a big lad with a funny eye. He's a good actor, and Chucky out of um, what is it? Time Pandits? Well, the, no, the Goonies, I think. Oh, cross between those two. So before all that, um, we were saying to them, look, if, if Toon's test results come back and they're not great, um, would you be all right to to take on the farm while we're here, there and everywhere? And they said, no, no trouble, don't worry about it. Between the two of them, they'll get it sorted. Um, it's a little bit awkward. I find it quite awkward going on from that, talking about the next thing, guys. And um, a couple of you said over the years that have followed us from the start, said, don't forget, there's a lot of people that, that care about you two and what we're trying to achieve on the farm. And if you need help, don't don't be shy to, to ask for help. Well, I'm going to ask for help now. Um, I'd like to give you the whole picture. At the moment, every month, um, through Patreon, we're getting um, just a fraction over $180 a month, which is just incredible, considering we're, we're, we're still going through COVID. You know, most of our patrons have kindly stayed with us and at the same rate that they were donating before. So it's been an absolute godsend. On top of that, of course, we get the um, ad revenue from um, running ads on our videos. A lot of you are very, very kind, and um, thanks, John. You always mention in your comment that you, you always let the adverts roll and enjoy a beer while you're watching, so it, it all helps. And that, of course, goes up and down every month, but I would say over the last six months, it averages about, I don't know, and just over two hundred dollars a month so all in all um let's say four hundred dollars a month which is is crazy it's really really good um but we need more help on the farm guys and this is just demonstrating why we're so fragile and i know some people are quite you know vocal in their opinions well this is farming life and this is what you've signed up for and definitely definitely um, but we're doers, Toon and I are doers, we're not, we're not people that just buy land and enjoy watching other people work and us sit up with a gin and tonic, although that is quite appealing at the moment. Um, $400 a month is enough to pay for one of these guys, um, they're $10 a month, uh, $10 a day rather, so that leaves us another 100 spare Per month, um, what I'm, what's going through my noggin at the moment is, uh, if we could get both of them working here full time, at six hundred dollars a month, and if you look at our views, so this isn't going to go well, is it? I'm rubbish at maths. I'm trying to do this in my head. Um, we probably average. 2,000 views per video. Some we get less and some we get a lot more, but let's say 2,000 views per video. If we could somehow equate that to $300 a month. No, another 200, isn't it? Another $200 a month. I don't know, that's... Is that 1%? 10 people would be 10 people would be $20 a month 20 people would be $10 a month 100 people would be $2 a month and that would get us there guys that would get us to get both of these guys who are fantastic without them I don't know what we'd do um, we could get them on 
full time on get them on board full time and uh, just just take the pressure off us and uh, so um you know when things like this happen uh, the the farm can still function and we can still function so uh, I don't know bloody awkward saying it I've said it now um, I know patron and whatever it, um, it does divide opinion but uh, I don't know maybe it was time to say this maybe it wasn't if it's not for you that's fine if it's not possible that's fine we still got all our um, videos for you to enjoy free of charge <laughs> just you watching guys and giving us a thumbs up and sharing some of our videos it all helps us anyway so um, absolutely no hard feelings if it isn't for you or you can't do it nothing, nothing will change guys we've always said all our con content is for free if you do choose to join us on Patreon and when you go on there you can see our different tiers of membership all of them qualify for I believe it's 20 25 percent 20 or 25 percent discount on our village accommodation if you so wish to come and visit us on the farm um, so you make a saving not a great deal but um, it's just something that we wanted to offer people that are helping us out then we can give a little bit back to you so I think that's it um, yeah let's let's um, be totally above board um, we, we'd um, secured some financing from the bank to massively increase our herd size of goats uh, and do the build project of, of um, goat islands and the new goat house on there um, but the culvert project was an unforeseen obstacle we hadn't anticipated that it is proven to be quite um quite expensive uh but the good news is uh we had someone very very uh generous uh send us a helping hand through um via paypal to toon's email it basically paid for all the pipes and a few bags of cement so uh you know it's not just um the ad revenue and, and patrons. Some of you have been very, very kind sending us seed. <laughs> that reminds me, we've had a few strange deliveries of stuff as well. Uh, one is a wooden necklace of two legs with a huge penis in the middle. Toon said, oh, that's a very lucky thing. So I, sh I should have worn that, shouldn't I? Uh, another thing is some sort of back backpack with a like an antenna sticking out the top I, whoever sent that could you please confirm what it's for because <laughs> i don't know what it, i don't know whether it's something to do with bondage or whether you're supposed to stick a gopro on the top of it or something so hands free because i've said I, I can't multitask when i'm walking around recording the goats um uh, and you know some of you guys have sent seed through the post what else some salt mineral blocks for the goats as well some chimes to put around their ne uh, necks uh, we, we haven't actually put them around the, their necks guys uh, whoever, whoever sent that um but we're using them as wind chimes uh, yeah it'd be good to have one round bullseye's neck so I, I can hear him coming before he headbutts me in the small of my back but um it's just that sometimes when we're at the the far end of the farm and out of nowhere comes an electrical storm um it doesn't make them a prime uh target uh you, you see in thailand obviously not just thailand but um a lot of livestock get killed every year from lightning strikes to uh, livestock that's got metal some sort of metal thing um strapped to the neck so apologies we're not using it for that um but we are still using them so uh, thanks very much okay i think that's it and uh, just to make you feel more sorry for me or not, let's, let's have another look. I haven't even told mum. I said, Toon, don't put anything on Facebook. This is when it happened yesterday. So I don't want to worry mum, but don't worry mum. We'll, we'll be all right, won't we? Look at that. 
So, Mum, if you really love me, you'll, you'll sign it to Patreon, won't you? <laughs> Thanks as always for watching, guys. And um, I'll, I've never uploaded straight from the phone before. I'm going to give it a go. So no, no editing at all. I'm just going to try and stick a title on it and uh, press publish. So, again, I won't be replying to anyone, guys, but when I can use my eye a little bit better, which hopefully won't be too long, uh, I, I, I promise I'll, I'll reply to you all. Thanks very much for, for those of you who help already. Thanks in advance for anyone that does choose and is able to, to help us. And uh, just a big thanks to all of you for tuning in and following us. Um, anyway, I was, I, I've been trying to do um, a longer video every weekend for you. I think some of you have noticed that. So some, most of you are online at the weekends and enjoy putting a brew on and, and sitting down and watching. But hopefully it hasn't come over too downbeat. I know it's a little bit somber, but uh, we won't we won't lose hope, and uh, we're hell bent on creating something incredible here. And uh, we won't give up. We won't give up. Cheers now. Ta -da. Enjoy your weekends. Where's my off button? I can't see Jack.